chapter 3. The book of Daniel, chapter 3. I'm going to try to be aggressive. All right. Daniel, chapter 3. Amen. Amen. If you've never, ever listened to me before, please pay attention to me. And I need you to really open up your spiritual ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Amen. Jesus often, when he spoke, he gave messages, he gave them in parable. He said, only his folks to hear. So, Lord, if we need to decode it, you got to have a hold of us. I preached this before, but he gave me something fresh that it relates to it relates to us right now. Amen. Amen. Now this is the time when the church is really supposed to manifest who God is. Amen. When the church is being challenged. That's when we should shine the brightness of when it's darkness. When it gets darker, you don't take but a look at a light to guide you to the right way. Amen. We're in a dark time in, in the church. The Bible, Jesus said that, that uh, you are a city on the hill. You are light. He said, you don't take the light and put it up on the bush. I'm going to say that one more time. He said, you got to hear it by the Spirit. You don't take the light and put it up on the bush. Okay. All right. Daniel chapter 3, starting at verse 1. Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits and the breadth thereof six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king sent to gather together the princesses, the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all of the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Then the princesses, the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the province were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then a herald, a preacher, uh -huh. <laughs> cried aloud to you, it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages, that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackbut, the psaltery, the dulcimer, and all kinds of music, you shall fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king has set up. Lord, I hope y'all hear me. And whosoever falleth not down to worship shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace, a trial of your faith. Therefore, at the time when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, Sackbo, Psalter, Channel 11, Channel 2, CNN, uh -huh. MSABC. That's it. That's it. That's it. Y'all catching it? Uh -huh. all, all the people, nations, and languages fell down and worshiped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. <laughs> Wherefore, at, all, at the time, certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. Those who had a covenant with God. They spake and said unto the king of Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Thou, O king, has made a decree that every man that should hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, sackbuck, the psalter, delsimer, child 11, 2, CNN, MSNBC. <laughs> you too. Whosoever falleth not down in worship, that he should be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. A trial. There are certain Jews of whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. 
They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not ye serve my gods? No, Alfred, do not ye serve my gods? No, worship the golden image which I have set up. Now, if you be ready, yeah. that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackbut, the psaltery, and the decimal, and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, uh -huh. ye shall be cast in the same hour. They are threat. Y'all hear it by the Spirit? Yeah. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hand? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abed, Nego answered and said unto the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, one, our God, good God of life, you don't need one, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, okay, see, see y'all to catch that. Yeah. But if not, yeah. see, see, you can't be threatened by death. Yeah. Amen, because Jesus took the sting out of death. Yeah. Yeah. He said, but if not, be it known unto thee, O king, yes. that we will not serve thy gods, right. nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. That's good. I hear it. Yeah. Father God, in Jesus' name, speak to us through the power of your Holy Spirit. Give us receptive hearts. Tune our ears through the power of your Holy Spirit that we may hear what the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to the church. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. I just want to speak on the subject is he is after your worship. He is after your worship. I love reading the book of Daniel. Daniel that great governmental prophet whom God allowed to go into captivity and be taken to the land of Babylon when he was yet a young, young man. And Nebuchadnezzar was a very shrewd king. And what Nebuchadnezzar would do is after he conquered a country, he would take the best of the young men the young women, and he would train them in the Chaldean tongue, train them in the knowledge and the ways of the culture of the people of Babylon. And you can train them good when they're young. That's right. Right. Here. And, and, and so he, he would get the best, the smartest, the brightest, yeah. ones that look good, and he would train them. <laughs> When you read the book of Daniel chapter 1, you'll find out that not only would he train them in the books, y'all better catch it, because our children are about to be trained in some stuff. They're already being trained. They're being trained by the internet, by TikTok, by Facebook, Instagram. They're being trained by the enemy. All right, those vehicles of communication can be used for good, but there's a lot of bad that goes through. And so, these young men, Daniel, Azariah, Mishael, and Hananiah, they had purpose in their heart that they would not defile themselves with the king's meat or with his wine. They're saying, we can't eat what they eat because what we're supposed to eat has to be clean as has been stated in the book of Leviticus. We can't digest everything that is given to us. We can't listen to every kind of music. Y'all get with me. We have to be careful how we hear because it can contaminate our spirit and our soul. And all of a sudden we get reprogrammed and we start acting crazy based on what we've heard because of the source of the inspiration of the music. Good God Almighty. And so Daniel, God had showed him favor 
with the unit that was training them. And Daniel said, all we need is 10 days. Just feed us poached vegetables and water. And check us out and see if we look not better than the folks who are on y'all die. Right. And they did. And when they came out, they were fresh. Look better. And guess what God did? When you hold fast to what God tells you to do, he gave them knowledge and understanding. Amen. And Daniel had the gift of dreams and interpretation of dreams. And when they came before King Nebuchadnezzar, they were ten times better Amen. than all the rest of the young folks. Amen. Young folks, I'm telling you right now, if you hold to God, you're going to be ten times better Amen. than the folks who are getting it from the world. Amen. But you've got a purpose in your heart that you're going to be dedicated to God. Amen. So for that, Later on, chapter 2, Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. God gave Nebuchadnezzar a dream. Job chapter 33 said, God speaks once, twice in a dream and a vision of the night, and man perceiveth it not. That he may withdraw man from his pride. Because pride comes before a fall. He dreamed about this image with a head, which was a head of gold. And as it went down, it went down to different metals and eventually to the feet, it was clay mixed with iron. Right. These would be the successive, successive uh, generations of those who would rule on a greater level. The head of gold was Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar woke up out the dream not understanding the dream. He called all the sorcerers. In the wise men. They could not interpret the dream because if you want to interpret something that comes from God, you better have a man that is full of the Holy Spirit. Right. You can't interpret the things of God if you are against God. Right. And you can't go to the witch to find out what God is saying because the witch don't. <laughs> and you can't talk to the warlock to find out what God is speaking. His ears is tuned to Satan and the devil. You got me? And so the Bible says here that they called for somebody and they, they couldn't interpret. He said, I'm going to kill everybody. And they came to get Daniel. And Daniel said, why is the decree of the king so hasty? He went to the king and said, give me a little time. I'll interpret. Daniel went to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and told them, look, set up petitions to our God so that we get the understanding of the dream. See, you got to be on one accord. When your life is on the line, you got to come together. They came together. God showed the dream to Daniel in a night vision. He came back to the king and explained the dream to him. Then from that, Nebuchadnezzar promoted him. And when Daniel got promoted, Daniel said, look, uh, my three friends, uh, consider them also they got promoted. All right, I'm trying to tell you something. Don't go work by yourself. All right. Take the team that came with you. All right. Take the team that was praying with you. Right. Take the team that was fasting with you. Right. Take the team that was at Bible study with you. Don't go get folks who ain't down with you when they get tough. Go get the folks who came up with you in the spirit. Right. Y'all with me? Right. Then we get to chapter. We get to chapter three. And now Nebuchadnezzar got the word of the Lord, but now he switches. He forgot that it was God who gave him the dream that was interpreted. He forgot it was God that allowed him to even conquer the land of Israel. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah that the Lord gave them over into his hands. So if the Lord gave me over, it really was you, it was me in rebellion to God, and he gave me over. It wasn't by your power, it was by God's permission. Lord have mercy. I'm telling you all, so there is things that happen only by God's permission. Amen. And here it is, chapter 3, Nebuchadnezzar come out of the dream and realize that he was that head of gold, and guess what he did? He set up an image whose height was three four cubits in six. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Let me help you. Babylon is where we get a rebellion from uh, Nimrod to build a tower so that it would reach heaven. 
when God had told the people to disperse throughout all the earth and repopulate it. Babylon literally means confusion because God came down and confused their language so that they could not communicate and understand one another so that they could keep building. When you don't do it God's way, God will let confusion enter the land. Anytime you try to do something that God has not ordained, he will let confusion hit the camp so that you can't even get along with one another. And so that same spirit of confusion is still reigning in that area. So now Nebuchadnezzar, though he gets a true interpretation of the dream, because a spirit of confusion is still in place, he now does not listen to the word of God for what he should have been listening. Now he's only thinking about himself and himself being greater than everybody else. Now he wants to steal God's worship. And here it is now. The Bible says that he sent to gather together. Y'all know when we first started services that uh, it's called call to worship. Also, we call it invocation. Lord have mercy. All right, so when you worship, you're actually uh, giving your heart to that which you are worshiping. You're giving it, it your attention, all of your being. And when you are invoking, when you are invoking, what you're doing, you are summoning a deity, a God, All right. or a spirit to come supernaturally help you. Okay, okay, yeah. Y'all yeah, still ain't catching it. When we, when we go call to worship in invocation, we are invoking the all-powerful God to come help us in our situation. Okay, so what I'm trying to tell you is Nebuchadnezzar has set up this image and he's uh, he's called everyone to worship. He's called everyone to the invocation, but the God he served ain't the God that we serve. The God that he served is Nabu, who he's named after. The image that's set up is set up to look like Nebuchadnezzar, but the day that he served the false god, the high-ranking principality. He is named by that spirit, so he think he getting worship, but the spirit that's manipulating his mind got him all prideful is going to receive worship. Lord have mercy, I hope you hear me, y'all. They set it up now so that that false deity is worshiped. Christ won't get the glory. The Father won't get the glory. They want you dependent on man and not God. All right, y'all, y'all quiet on me this morning. So, so when when they gather together, now notice who they gather together. They gather together the princes, the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the councilors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the province. We gather together at the dedication. Oh, so now you're about to get initiated. You're about to get initiated into high level witchcraft. Because now you are invoking a spirit that is not of God. So it's satanic and it's demonic. And when you come to the dedication, you're coming to initiate your heart to covenant with a demonic being. Satanic being. And first what I'm going to do, I ain't going to get the common folks first. I'm going to get the government. The armed service, the judicial branch, those who deal in economics, the advisors, the senators, and congressmen, the sheriffs in here, the police, public safety. Y'all y'all ain't reading your Bible. It's right there in your Bible. It, did, did he say all these showed up? All right. When leaders show up, the people eventually got to show up. Y'all see the pattern? All right. Then after that, last, I'm going to get the preachers. <laughs> it's in the Bible. A herald means a preacher. Right. To herald the word means to preach the word. Right. So eventually, when the preachers come on that side, they're going to be invoking demons also. Right. Y'all still ain't catching it. Y'all catching it? All right, so lastly, when everybody else is set up, now I'm going to tip into the spiritual realm and get the preachers to get you to come to initiate your heart to a satanic, demonic spirit. 
Jesus. And this is what he cried. See, it's bad when the preacher don't get his message from God. But he get his message from man. Right. Right. A message that is not sent from the all-wise, all-powerful Father through his son Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit is a message that you don't want to obey. Please hear me by the Spirit. And here it is. He said, it is commanded. It's mandated. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Y'all missed that one. Y'all ducked on me. It's commanded. It's mandated. You ain't got no choice in it. <laughs> okay. It's mandated. Oh, people, nations, and languages. Wait a minute. He said, people, nations, languages. This, this, this ain't just regional for America. This, this, this is worldwide. International. He said, now, when you hear Mike and Mario why do I say y'all we, we don't work for Nebuchadnezzar <laughs> we, for, we work for the living God <laughs> then at what time you hear the sound at what time you hear the voice right. see the instrument can't admit nothing unless there's some breath going through it See, at what point you hear the voice, but what is the source of the voice? Paul said there are many voices in the world, but you got to be tuned from the sound of heaven, the third heaven. You got to be tuned to the voice of the Holy Spirit. See, there are a lot of folks that I love a good beat, man. We were listening to some music yesterday, and we were listening to Praise and Worship Channel, and I thought we were listening to B103 for a minute. I said, I, I'm not feeling any inspiration from that song. It, it's, it's on the right channel, but doesn't have the right source of inspiration. I said, it tickles my flesh, but it, my spirit is empty from it. What I'm trying to tell you is don't get caught up on a channel. Because uh, if through that channel, the right source of information, the right sound ain't coming, you might need to turn your ear off, turn the channel. Right. Turn the dial. Right. Y'all don't like it. I was riding with another sister yesterday coming to prayer, and we were, we were listening, and I said, that's Holy Ghost. That's Holy Ghost inspired right there. I said, ain't it bad when our folks have become more fleshy Amen. than spiritual? Then spiritual? Yeah, right. Here it is. The Bible says in Psalms 150, it says, let everything that hath Pray. praise ye the Lord. All right? And then he goes on, he, he started giving you instruments on the high symbol. Amen. Right? He starts giving you on all the different instruments, the instruments are supposed to be used to praise ye the Lord. Why? He is the one who put the brass in the ground that you hit the trumpet from. In the sacrifice. So whatever you do, you got to give him glory because all of it was created by him. And if you don't use it to glorify him, then you ain't giving him the honor that's through his name. How are you going to use a trumpet that God allowed a man to fashion and make, but he had to get God's metal out of his earth to do it. And he created man. So whatever we do, he get the glory out of all of How are you going to take God's stuff and not worship him? How are you going to use God's instruments and not worship him? Lord have mercy. How is it that we take God's stuff and then throw God out of the equation? Lord, we in sad shape, aren't we? Look at that. He put up a golden image. The image. Now, image, we're talking about a likeness. A likeness. The Bible says in Exodus 20, 23, you shall not make with me gods of silver, neither shall you make unto gods of gold. Breaking the commandment. 
And he set it up. He erected it. Everywhere you go now, that stuff erected. And my question to you and I, have we made a stop at Psalm 103? Isaiah 53. Y'all ain't with me. Amen. The book of Jeremiah. Yep. Have we looked in the New Testament? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Or are we just going where stuff is settled? Are we, are we trusting God? For, I'm, I'm just throwing out the question. Is who do you run to first? God desires to be first. He said, and I, I'm God alone and there's no other beside me. Uh, okay, y'all, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He said, now, if you don't fall down and worship, he said, the same hour, I'm going to cast you into the midst of the fire firm. Threats. See, true worship don't come through threats because it's force. See, see, God would, our God, he said, yeah, I'm going to invite you. But if you don't want me, Amen. that's on you. But I'm going to invite you to worship me. And then in the midst of you worshiping me, as you worship me and praise me, then I, what happens is I'm going to inhabit your praises. And when you are depressed, I'm going to bring some joy back to your heart. If you praise me, uh, whatever you're going through, all of a sudden, I'm going to start opening doors for you. When you're sitting in your body, uh, you're going to start finding out that healing is going to be released from me. If you would just worship me and come to me, how is it that we're forsaking the living God and we now depend on man? The byproduct of trusting man and worshiping man is side effects. <laughs> he said don't lean on arms of flesh because they can't uphold you they don't know the future they don't know what's going to happen 5, 10 years from now but I do so now everybody at the dedication now notice we got to make a choice the Bible says, don't fear those who can harm the body, but the one who can put both the body and soul in hell. Amen. He said, now, if we don't worship you, you can't burn up for one time. Okay, y'all still, y'all still don't want to hear. You can't burn me for one time. Now, uh, after however long it takes for you to burn me, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Now, now, if you mess with me, there's somebody who can put you in some fire. And the fire won't go out. And the worm don't die. So I'll take my choice and go with God. Because what he's going to put on you is going to be worse than what you think you can put on me. Okay, y'all missing it. Now you might be threatening my bank account. In my temporary resource of getting fun. But what's going to happen when God shut your stuff down? When your millions and billions ain't going to be worth nothing. Okay, I, I, I hope y'all hear me. Notice that at that time when all the people heard the sound of the cornet and flute, heart rock sack, all these instruments, they fell down. Now, ain't it amazing when heathens can obey the word better than God's word? The heathens ain't got no problem worshiping for hours. They ain't got no problem dancing before they God. They ain't got no problem staying in the club all night long. If Michael and Mario and Chris get too long, folks start rolling their eyes. But when the heathens get together, they do it strong. They worship their gods. And they don't stop. And they get mad when the lights get turned off and the clubs shut down. But if you worship too long in fellowship, folks get mad. All that's happening, you're telling me who your God really is. 
Y'all know what I say, the exercise right there. If you don't want to enjoy my God's presence, leave. But newsflash, you need some protection while you're on the road. There are folks who drink and drive. There are folks who ain't paying attention. You need some angels assigned to you. You might want to stay here a little while and enjoy the presence of the Lord. There are benefits from enjoying his presence. COVID out there, cancer out there, crazy folks just shoot people out there. You might want to enjoy his presence. Look at this. This he King got his own preacher. Okay. The Bible says even Satan has his ministers. Okay, y'all still ain't called it yet. Everybody that gives you a message are not called and chosen and ordained by God. Well, how do I know? What message are they telling you to do? Y'all ain't with me. What is the preachers now that will tell you, are you trusting God in the midst of what we're going through? Will you open your Bible and quote scriptures over yourself? Will you plead the blood of Jesus over yourself and your family? Will you say, by his stripes, we are here? Come on now. That's how you know whether they work for the Lord or not. God called me to preach the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's it. If you want something else, Go visit another place. Because for me, it's God first. Amen. If a preacher give you anything other first than the word of God, I don't listen to him. How is it that we're promoting man now in man's ways above God's ways? Y'all may hear me. And we got folks who are they're being initiated. Uh, y'all want, they're being initiated into high level witchcraft. You know what initiate really means? Train you. The whole world is being trained to discipline you, to inaugurate you on their system in their way. When last time you had a prayer service in, you said, Pastor, I need you to pray for me. Sister, I need you to pray for me. I'm feeling something in my body. I'm feeling something in my soul. My soul is disturbed. The world is going to train you to do it another way. You know what Jesus did when folk came? He had crazy folk came. Then we got folk was sick. He had it all. He healed them all. The church has went so far away from the word of God that we have allowed man's way to infiltrate the church instead of God's way. Amen. And then we're wondering why it ain't working. Amen. All right, y'all. Look here. Everybody worshiping. Everybody. They, they buy it out. They initiate. They're in the first phase of, of getting ready to move in some high-level witchcraft. And when you worship something other than God, dumb demons, they temporarily make you feel good. But when you can't sleep at night, when they turn on you, when you won't do what they say do, you've been initiated. <laughs> Can you imagine everybody here buying down to a false god and there, there are a few of us and uh -huh. it, it, See, it's shown who you are when the worship starts, when the initiation starts. You, you, you got me? When you try to travel internationally and you can't. <laughs> when, when, when you go to work and they got stuff on the door and you ain't got nothing on your door. Okay, y'all no, 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 catch up with me now. <laughs> it's, it's shown that you got a different God. Uh, could you be exposed that you got a different God than the one that the people of the world are serving? Could it be saying 
You standing and not bowing. You standing for God while we bow to the devil. Could it be said that, that you and I are standing for God while folks are bowing to a demonic, satanic system of the world? Ooh, y'all so quiet this morning. It is. Uh-oh. It is. You all, we got some haters now. You, uh, I don't care what chapter of the Bible, you're going to find a hater somewhere. The first, the look here, you may, you can't even get, get, get through four chapters before a hater show up in the Bible. <laughs> Somebody get it, now you mad. You don't know what to come and break anyway. You just can't break it. Why you mad at me? Right. Yep. You've been living in Babylon all this time. Why you didn't get no promotion? He, he said, look here, they accuse. They, 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 the Chaldeans accused the Jews. See, look at that. These, these folk that, that you set up, the ones you put up now, don't worship your God. Okay, where were y'all when he had the dream and didn't understand it and couldn't sleep? No way around. You couldn't interpret the dream. But now you want to accuse us when you can help him no way. See, you have to be very careful that, that even when you help folks That's right. That's right. Amen. When, when they are devilish they can forget yeah. Amen. they can forget when you were in trouble I was the one praying for you yeah. when you needed some help I was the one right there for you yeah. all of a sudden Nebuchadnezzar don't forget when you can't sleep boy and you didn't, couldn't understand the dream you had to call Daniel, and we were the one praying with Daniel so he could get understanding of what your crazy self was going through. And now you're going to listen to folks who couldn't help you. How many folks are listening to folks who can't help them? Where were these folks years ago when you need him? When you were on your way to hell, who is the one came to save you? It wasn't the government. What the president? When Congress and Simmons, your doctor couldn't help you, your mama couldn't help you, your friends couldn't help you, it was the Lord Himself who came and saved you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. So you got folks accusing you, but can't help. Now, now look, they're going to come and remind Nebuchadnezzar of what he said. <laughs> now, they know what he said, don't they? They know what he's saying. <laughs> He said, now look at King, you, you don't made a decree now. You, 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 you told us what to do. Well, first of all, how you know I wouldn't worship him? Right. Come, come on now. If your face down, see, when you worship, you're prostrate. Uh, you, you are bowing down on your face. See, you wouldn't worship, you're telling on yourself. There are folks who are telling on themselves by trying to accuse you. Because if you were really worshiping, you wouldn't have saw me no way. Boy, they're going to be glad I was that number. I said, Ned, before you throw me in the fire, we went by ourselves. Because how are they going to worship your image and see me at the same time while they worship? If you're going to throw me in now, you might as well throw them in there too because they ain't sold out to you. They just want to position by getting us out of the way. There are some folks who will fake worship to try to get a position that you're in and that was their plan all along. They didn't come from the decree. They came to see what you're going to do so they can accuse you. That's what it is, y'all. It's right here in the world, y'all. They ain't making it up. It is. They said, look here, when the music go down, they're supposed to be bowed down, worshiping you, Ned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You worship with your head, turn and look at me. <laughs> See, we got folks in there, they be they turn. <laughs> leave it alone, Pastor. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. We're going to have good worship. Good worship. You want to know how I can turn the head to tell you to go get what the Holy Ghost was moving and through the stuff like Y'all see, y'all don't want to work with me. That's okay, amen. And I'm not scared. I have a holy boldness. 
Y'all feel me? If I need Samson and Norton to throw about 30 folks off me, I ain't no problem. Huh? And you know we're in the country, so it ain't got to be a jawbone of a donkey somewhere around here. <laughs> Look here. You said, look, who don't fall down in worship? He should be cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Don't you know, y'all, to stand in these last days is going to be a test of our faith? Yes. They're going to be the Bible. Peter talks about fiery trials of our faith. The Bible says that when we come out, we're going to be like pure gold. When we go through trials, it's going to burn off what needs to be burned off anyway. So that we can shine the way we really need to shine. Some stuff we need to go through anyway because we got too much dirt on us. Impurities. Y'all ain't with me. From the twice there to the pulpit and all the way to the exercise. We got some stuff that need to be burnt off of us. And God will allow trials of our faith to see if we real. He know we real or not, but sometimes we don't know what we'll do until we're in the midst of it. Oh, I'm going to walk with it. I'm going to hang with God. Okay. Wait till he leave you. And you got to pay bills all by yourself. And you're left with them children. You still going to walk with God then? Or are you going to call your cake daddy who you were hanging with before you got married? See, y'all don't want to get real up in here. <laughs> That's a trial, y'all. We gonna fire you if you don't do this. Uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. Lord, Lord, I think do that, Lord. All right, now, Lord. Now you don't want me to act up now. Now you want me to stay in the spirit now, don't you? Come, huh, Lord? Oh, y'all gonna say that? I, come on now. You start challenging me. I'm not looking at Lord. Don't you want me to stay spiritual? Don't you want me to operate in the Holy Ghost? You don't want me to operate like where I used to live. 250. <clears throat> <laughs> Y'all got me. <laughs> look, look here. Look what happened. Said I'm certain Jews whom thou hast settled with affairs. You set them over your business. You set them over your business. But they have the business. They have them the business. The problem ain't with the affairs. The problem is with worship. Why you got to bring up the affairs? Why you got to bring up the job? This got to do with worship. The only reason that the business is going well in the kingdom of Nebuchadnezzar is because of the Lord. Y'all ain't with me. Joseph was in his master's house. His master's house got blessed because the presence of the Lord was there. He didn't even know how much he had. You mess around and fire me, you want to. Thank you, man. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Leave me if you want to. Come on, y'all. You find your stuff get shaky. Come on, y'all. You better know who you are in the Lord. So the son put a hand on the hip. Well, like, well, you better stay with me. <laughs> Well, Rachel, Rachel, I'm being sleeping. Sure, she just doing like this. I'm fixing my mask. She's just trying to see if she's going away. All right, look at him. Look at him. Look, look what happened. Notice what they, they did not call them by their Hebrew names. They called them by the name that uh, Nebuchadnezzar gave them. You gotta catch this. Uh, see, what they're saying is, now the training that you gave them didn't work. Uh, the food that you told them to eat, they didn't digest it. The wine that you told them to drink, they didn't drink it. The weed that you gave them, they didn't smoke it. Y'all want to see, I got to bring it to Marty today. They refused it, and we can tell they were refused it based on who they worshiping. 
And the name that you gave them has to do with the various false gods that you worship. So when you're calling Abed Nego, he really ain't a servant of Nego. He, and if he don't serve Nego, he really don't serve you. He still hooked up with Yahweh. He still hooked up with Jehovah. He still hooked up with the bright in the morning star. Y'all ain't waiting. He's hooked up with the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He's hooked up with the Redeemer. He's hooked up with the one who's the resurrection and the life. You better believe it. That's why he's scared to go through the fire. Because he knows the fire burned me and can't keep me. Y'all ain't with me? They know that when they go through the fire, that they won't be burned. They know that when the flares come, they will not be overwhelmed by the flood. That's why they don't serve your God. That's why they're not bowing. You did not train them well. It did not stick in their spirit. Because train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Good God Almighty, we train them up right when they go off. Lord, they might try to. Yeah. Right about that. They come back. Yeah. Amen. They come back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 They're holding it in. <laughs> and when they, uh, the Holy Ghost go convict them so bad, they're going to go home crying. <laughs> See, y'all don't want to work with me. You better get real up in here. Because it's all about trying to take their worship. Amen. Absolutely. Mess <laughs> around here and drink. Scripture going to come right back to their mind through the Holy Ghost. Be not drunk with wine. Yeah. Be filled with the Spirit. Man, I can't even. Yeah. Man, everywhere I go, I keep hearing that. Man, there go my dad. I think I seen him. Uh huh. <laughs> and you better put something in them so that when they get tried in their faith, they got something to lean on. Look at him. Jesus. The Bible says this. They brought him. Nail spake said unto them, Is it true? See, think about it. When you're good at what you do, and when you make a difference in where you're at, folks really don't want to let you go. Because they know, man, that's the one. That, since they came, there's more peace. I don't know what it is about them, but since they've been in my life, things are, it, it ain't perfect, but it's a whole lot better. Because I know they're praying for me. See, now he didn't, really get, he didn't want to get rid of his good help. Man, when I couldn't sleep from this bad dream, they did pray with Daniel to help me out. I'm going to give him one more chance. Have you ever been in an office and they say, I'm going to give you one more chance to work that thing out? Y'all have never been in an office like that? I've been in there a couple of times. Look, sit down. Uh, now, I'm compassionate. Good. Who is the source of your compassion? Is it God or the devil? Because the compassion in your flesh don't last long. But if you're compassionate like God, you're going to be moved in your bowels for me. His mercies are new every day. All right, now when I say no to what you're trying to tell me, your attitude going to change by tomorrow. Your mercies ain't new every day. Your mercy is based on how I respond to you. Lord, right. right. no mercy. Ned, now notice with Ned. Ned didn't call them Hannah and I as a ride in Michigan. He said, now let, let me see if these boys really trained the way I told them to train. Now, uh, Abed Nego, servant of Nego, servant of my false god, Shadrach, Meshach, the other two gods, false gods, do not you serve my gods. Look at that. Don't miss it. Your names are attached to my gods. I'm calling your name. And you need to respond to the pulling of my God that I've assigned over your life. Now he said, don't you serve my gods? Uh oh Nor Worship the golden image which I have set up. He questioned. He said, Now look, I'm going to give you one more chance. Now, if you be ready, 
When you hear the cornet, the flute, the harp, sax, vault, and so forth, dulcet, and all kinds of music, and they, they, they different instruments, but they all singing the same song, the same note. I don't care what channel you turn to, they all saying the same thing. The same ain't not change. The same narrative. Ain't it? Ooh, if, the, if I mess around and turn on channel two, and they say, let's pray in the name of Jesus, uh -huh. that all of this stuff that's affecting our nation and the world, uh -huh. that the Lord would move and stop it. Lord, I would, Mike would need to play the keyboard. I tell Mario, don't even worry about coming on Sunday. I'm going to still be dancing. Right. I ain't heard it yet. As a matter of fact, I'm looking for a man of God, a woman of God. When I turn on YouTube or any other channel, to say in the name of Jesus, in the name above all names, in the all-powerful name, at that name demons shut. At that name diseases are healed. In the name of Jesus, I command COVID come to a halt and disappear. In the name of Jesus. This might not be on YouTube long because you can't pray in that name and talk about COVID on YouTube. Until Sean will put it up. <laughs> Somebody gonna get healed. Yeah. All they need to do is heal one time and believe it. So it's going to keep one more time. And we, I'm going to give you another chance to worship. Uh, we were worshiping last time. Yep, y'all see this? We were worshiping, but we were just worshiping our God. See, and, and when there's a decree to fall down and worship another God, we have to stand in worship. See, we can't bow down to a satanic system, but we have to stand in worship. So we were standing in acknowledgement of our God. You know the one uh, that spoke to you in the dream? You, you know the one that gave our nation over to your nation? That God. Okay, the one who a couple of chapters over going to drive you crazy and you're going to be eating grass? That God. The, the very one who is going to preserve your, your, your throne while you're crazy, that God. Ooh, if I'd have been there, the Lord would have went ahead and gave me a word of knowledge on that thing, a prophetic word. I would have told Neb, you don't want to do this. You're going to go crazy in, a, in a, about another year. <laughs> you're going to be eating grass. And, and guess what? You're gonna, your hair going to grow. You're going to look like a wolf man. And you, you ain't going to even have to go to the nail shop. Your nails just going to grow out. Y'all gonna read y'all Bible. Now notice, he said, I'm gonna give you one more time. He said, but if you worship not, I'm gonna cast you the same aisle to the midst of the burning fire furnace. Who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Wait a minute. Look here, Neil. Now, I know you got to have the book of Psalms somewhere in your stash. Because you you are you are not you are a nationwide king. Have you not read Psalms 34, which says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all? Have you not read Isaiah? Don't you know that fire can't hurt us? Oh, Lord, y'all ain't with me. Don't you know that he said in Psalms 139, If I make my bed in hell, he's going to be there. If I take wings of the morning, he's going to be there. If you throw me in there, he's going to be in there with me. He said, I will never leave you, no. Look here, Neb, he's going to come right in there with me. So he need to be worshiping you. If you got in there with me, you burn up. <laughs> yeah, y'all, some of y'all making too young. Y'all don't remember that Jane Brown hot pants. Y'all don't remember that. See, Jane was saying that because I don't know if Jane knew the law or not. Okay, y'all missed the joke. Y'all missed the joke. See, they didn't have to say hot pants. Because their clothes would not be singed. They wouldn't even smell like smoke when they came out. The same cologne that they had when they went in. I still smell like Jean Paul Gaultier. I still smell like Dior Savoy. Y'all ain't with me. 
Look, Nick, I'm going to work alone. Good God Almighty. Chad Rex said, I'm still going to be spending like Fahrenheit because y'all turn up the heat. Y'all yeah. 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 ain't got no laughing in y'all. <laughs> look, look here. Shadrach, Meshach, Abed, Ego answered and said unto the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. What they're saying is, you don't need to argue about stuff that God won't take care of. We spend so much energy, arguing energy, arguing with people about stuff that's God's business. If this, if this is a battle between the gods, God with a big G, and the gods with a little G, whom God with the big G set over the nations because they rebelled against him, the God with the big G is sovereign over the gods with the little G. Y'all don't believe it? The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 4 and 4 that Satan is the God with a little G over this world. But the God with the big G is over him. He is allowing him to set up his system to expose who really belong to him, to usher in the coming of his dear son Jesus Christ, and all of us just need to buckle up in faith and take the ride. Look at here. They said, look here. If you do it, the God who we serve, uh-oh, uh-oh, they said it's on slick. <laughs> they let it know, we don't serve you. We don't serve your God. Now, we do work in your kingdom, but we hear by divine, by divine, by divine appointment. We're only here so you come to know our God. We are here so you come to worship our God. Because when you lose your mind, Nebuchadnezzar, when you finally come out of that thing, you're going to say, I worship the most high. Amen. That's why we're over here. We're over here so you come to know our God and you bow before him. But you can't know him if we stand with you and serve your God. Y'all got to catch it. Now what's happening in the world, we are being tested on whether we're going to worship a demonic satanic system or whether we going to stand, go through, so that they can come to know our God. Amen. All right, all right. See, there are going to be some testimonies of some folks to say, God healed me. There are going to be some testimonies where some folks say, uh, he didn't have to heal me. He didn't let it come near me. Y'all missed it. So there's going to be testimony of those it never touches, and testimony of those who touched it, but no weapon. Yeah. Formed against us shall prosper. So whether he, whether he keep it away or whether he allow it to come, he still come. Yeah. It ain't that he ain't God because he let it happen. Some people he's letting it touch to show that I'm a God who can heal. Oh. And the other person said I'm a God that can keep it at bay. Yeah. Yeah. You talk. He said this. Ooh, there got me. Ooh, there. Ooh, stuff change. I dare you to stand for God and see who faces start change against you. There's some folks up in here faces a change if you really stand for God. It would. If you really stand for God, they face a change. It happened right up in fellowship, y'all. Mm -hmm. I've had times where I, I've stood for God and there are other people stood for God and the folks who claim they love you so much. Oh, you're my, you're my brother. You're my brother in the faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As long as I'm doing what you say. But when you say contradict the scriptures, I ain't going to be your brother in the faith no more. All right, y'all. Here they go. They throw them in the fire. And the very folks who threw it on me and got burned. Amen. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Now. Wait, wait. You throw me in, you get burned up and die. I hit the bottom, I'm still not here. 
The posse of army, I'm walking around and I'm cool. They playing in your funeral. Your wife's smiling because you got a big insurance policy. And the one who's been winking at her for a long time, he happy too. Oh boy. Somebody's hot as fire right now. <laughs> they about to change some stuff on the pilot saying. Leave my own pastor, right? Yes, Lord. <laughs> oh, I got folk looking at each other. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Look, they went down in the bottom of the fire. Nebuchadnezzar from his throne sitting down got up and said, did not we cast three in? Yeah, Mike, didn't we put three on in there? I see four. Yeah. And they loose. Right. They loose. Yeah. Didn't we buy them? Right. They loose. Yeah. And the fourth one looked like the son of God. Yeah. See, how are the false worshipers uh -huh. going to rise to true worship Unless you and I stand up and the true God show up to make folks get off their face from false worship to rise and stand for the king. So we might have to go through and experience some stuff so that they see a manifestation of Jesus walking with us in the midst of the trouble. Then they'll realize there's stuff that they don't need to do. Amen. Y'all stand, 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 stand. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I hope you heard me by the Spirit. I hope you heard me by the Spirit. Ooh, I had to bail this thing, y'all. I, I really wanted to, to, to get it deeper. But it's for a reason. If I bail it, it's so that those who watch it will hear what they need to hear. And those who God has been speaking to, he'll make it plain to them. What it boils down to, y'all, is this. You cannot worship the Father unless you come to Jesus. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus told the woman of Samaria, he said, those who worship the Father must worship him in spirit, and in truth. This was false worship because it did not line up with the word. If you're here today, you can't truly say that God is your God by new birth unless you have received Jesus in your heart. Unless you have made a confession of faith for what you believe in your heart about the Lord Jesus Christ, about him being the son of the living God, who took upon himself flesh, just like we're in flesh, lived a sinless life, died upon the cross as a substitute to pay the price for our sins. And through his shed blood, all of our sins, all of our iniquities, all of our transgressions are remitted, taken away. When he was resurrected on the third day, it was signifying that we were justified in the sight of the Father, that we were made right in the sight of God for everyone who believes in him righteousness, right standing with God was counted towards each and every one of us who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He now sits on the right hand of the Father, ever living to make intercession for us. And he's coming back soon. He's coming back soon. But he is coming back for his people. He is coming back for his people. Soon. If you need to make a confession of faith in the Lord Jesus, I'm going to ask that you come. If you're here and the Spirit of the Living God is leading you to come in with this local fellowship so that you have a place where you can grow in your faith, that you can be encouraged, that you can be taught the Word of God, and so that God can work through you to minister your spiritual gift to help equip the body of Christ for the work of ministry and to edify the body through the spiritual gifts. I ask that you come.